Shall we begin? Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Central Oregon Shenanigans. Today, we'll kind of do a little bit of a walk around and looking at our 429 that we purchased. I think I did a couple update videos on it, but we haven't really done an episode on the 429 yet. Uh, this one's a 19, uh, 1970 or 1971 429 block. We'll go over that in probably a different video. And this is our 1971 460 that we got from uh, Ben for free. It was locked up and we got the heads off of it to find out there was rust in the cylinders, if you remember that episode. Um, tonight, we're going to go ahead and tear down the rest of the 460. We're going to go ahead and pull the water pump, timing chain, cover, alternator, power steering bracket, fan. Uh, we're going to pull the oil pan off the bottom. We're also going to unloosen the main caps, drop the crank, and we're going to pound out each one of these cylinders. Um, my idea at this point is eventually that um, we will get this over to the um, machine shop after we build our 429 here and get that guy over to the machine shop and use that 460 as our 460 uh, basically this engine if it's rebuildable for our step side pickup we just picked up if it is not rebuildable then we'll just throw the core away i'm not sleeving this i you know, for a dime a dozen that these are, and there's multiple of these 460 blocks out here, we're not putting a sleeve in this engine, or two sleeves, or three sleeves. They're one, they're expensive, and two, I just, I've just never been a fan of sleeves. So, with that being said, guys, let me get this all rearranged, get this cleaned, all these tools cleaned out of the valley here, get this thing spun around, get you guys set up, and, uh, We'll get going on our teardown this tonight. Uh, first thing you want to do is drain the oil out of the drain the oil out of the engine. Make sure it's all the way empty. And I got a little bit of water out the bottom, I think. So I'm letting it drain right now. If you like what you see here on Central Oregon Shenanigans, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Don't forget to give it a big like. And the comments do go down below if you have anything to comment on. Um, also, don't forget to go check out the Fox Shop. John Fox is a good buddy of mine that has, um, John has a 1993 Bronco and a 1994 F-150. Go check out the Fox shop. Tell John I sent you. There's gonna be a subscribe button at the end of the channel that looks like that. And that's the Fox shop. Click on it and you'll instantly subscribe and then you can head over there and check out his videos. Also, there's another young man. He'll also have a button at the end of the channel with a Dodge logo on it hodgepodge dodge garage go check him out i'm trying to get him up to thousand subscribers so we can get him monetized he's got some great content he's a new up he's a new uh, youtuber out there uh, just start his channel off he needs our support guys go over there and support zane all right guys we're back here we're gonna go ahead and take the fan off Alrighty guys, so <laughs> it's been sitting long enough. Look what I what, look. That's all I can spin it, but I couldn't do that when I first brought this engine home. It's crazy. It actually broke loose a little bit.
Alrighty guys. Just got the timing chain cover off in front of this. This side did screwed me up. I thought there was only one bolt on this side, so I took it off, and now there was two over there on that side. I didn't hurt anything though. <clears throat> Visual inspection of the timing chain on this motor doesn't look bad. Not great. Something just got some play in it, but the Bronco, I could take the timing chain on the modified engine and push it like that much further. That thing was about ready to fail pretty bad. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it a night and um, it's not gonna be a day for you guys, but um We'll pick this up tomorrow night in the garage, and uh, we'll get the pan off the bottom, we'll get the timing chain set off, we'll get the camshaft out next, then we'll flip it over, we'll do the pan, engine mounts, crankshaft, and then we'll beat the cylinders out. So I'll catch you tomorrow night, guys. And just like that, it's the next night. All right, today was a good day. I got the heater going. Just got done winterizing my van. If you guys are interested in watching any carpet cleaning videos, I started a channel on carpet cleaning. Go over and check my carpet cleaning channel out. It'll be in the description below. And uh, you guys can, if you guys are interested in that kind of content, uh, you guys can go check out that and uh, watch me clean carpets, kind of taking you to work with me. Anyway, it's actually a little bit more exciting than just cleaning carpets. There's a lot that goes into it, actually. Let's get back to work on our 460. I think we're going to go ahead next and uh, take this off. Oh, yeah. We need to get this key out of here and then take this guy out of there. I don't even know what you call this. It's like a sleeve of some sort. Alright guys, I think it's time to flip this girl over and start pounding out the bottom end. I'm going to put this keeper back on the uh, engine here, just so I don't lose it.
piston number, it's funny, we started with piston number one. And uh, I would show you piston number one if it let go of the dang head gasket. Piston number one. Yeah, you got to go out that way. Well, we're getting there. Pissing oil everywhere. was rusted pretty good. Oh, that one stank. Got a little stank on her. All eight. We're out. for. What a mess. What a mess. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to clean this mess up. That was, uh, that was fun. Now we have a bare block that we can go take in and check, have checked to see if we can even do anything with this. Uh, yeah, looks like the con rods are already, they're in pretty good shape. Crankshaft looks like it's in pretty good shape. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. The comments, they go down there. Catch you next time right here on Central Oregon Shenanigans. Good night. I'm going to bed after cleaning that up. Yep. <laughs>